So if you've ever wondered if you could write a play or a movie or a song, you're going to get a chance to meet two of the reigning geniuses of the form and learn how it begins. Broadway composer Stephen Sondheim and writer James Lapine. It is a major revival of their classic musical Sunday in the Park with George by new director Sam Buntrock, which brings digital animation and special effects to a story about a 19th century painter. But since it's also about a way of seeing, we thought we would go backstage and look at it through their eyes. It's called A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte, painted by George Seurat in 1886. But it's not just a painting, it's a deliberate mystery, up close a million dots of color. But pull back, see the people who only raise questions about who they are. Once you really look at it, you suddenly think, there are 50 people in that painting and nobody's looking at anybody else. And you think, why is that? The Grand Masters, Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine, imagined them. He actually took a piece of tracing paper, I remember, and put an arrow, put mother, question mark, you know, mistress, question mark, butler, question mark, that sort of thing. James said the main character is missing, and that's the artist. I mean, he was a kooky guy, I and think it's fair to say. I think there's only one photograph or drawing of yeah. him. Yeah. A phenomenon is what it's he was. What, it, and he, of course, he had this uh, mistress and a daughter who nobody knew about. Including his mother, whom he saw every week. He was a very secretive guy. And from their imaginations, a story about passion, order, obsession, design, and the tension between the human needs of daily life and the lure of a work of art. Tension. All the others painted by daylight, he painted by night because he was interested in the experimentation with the color. And that Im implies itself a kind of complete cocooned existence. How you have to finish the hat. There's a song in the show called How Finishing the Hat, the which is about just that, about how you cocoon yourself you when you're completely concentrated on what you're doing. The lead actors came on stage to show me the wizardry that brings the painting to life. Place it in exactly. Okay, I'm going to test you. Can you do the painting? Do you know where Dot is? I do. Dot's exactly where you are, Diane. Yes. That, you are Dot. <laughs> I don't need the bustle for it. Oh, please. <laughs> and you have a monkey here. I have a, a monkey, monkey by yeah, the way, is a clue. Right. It's and a symbol that means prostitution. Sure. And then who else is here? The Celestes are here. Yes. And the boatman mm -hmm. is on the right near the shoreline. Is that everyone? And the then you have one? Yvonne. Oh yes, she's sent. Yvonne and her child, yes, yeah, with an umbrella. Jenna Evans plays the painter's on mistress. A Sunday in the park with Don't move the mouth. The mother of his child, who is always second to his first love, his art. What's for you the, the sweetest line in it? I think at the end of the show when Dot says to, to George, anything you do, let it come from you. Then it will be new. Give us some more to see. I think there's something so healing and direct and honest about that. Take chances, it says. Move ahead, even if you are a legend in the last half of your life. We were on the phone one Sunday when sort of complaining about how we weren't working, really weren't involved in anything or passionate about anything. And then I went just to mindlessly watch TV and the video version of Sunday in the Park was on <laughs> and the song Move On. <laughs> <laughs> so I called them up and I said, I think we wrote ourselves a message in a bottle. You know. Stop talking about it, just do something. It's just cool. Yeah. Easy to say, hard to do. Mm. Is it about courage? Is it about... Yeah, it is. It's part, well, at least for me, uh, 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 it, it gets harder to write the older I get instead of easier. Why? I, I think probably because I'm aware that people expect something. When you're young, they don't expect anything. And then you think, oh, God, I'm going to disappoint everybody. If you were to say, go forward, do it, do the next thing to him, what would it be? Maybe write about how difficult it is to write, mm -hmm. you know, at a certain age. You know, I think reflect where you are now. And it's going to be a long, slow musical. <laughs> <laughs> And the masters at work. Stephen Sondheim, James Lupine. It's Sunday in the Park with George on Broadway.